Hi guys, today I'm painting a sketchbook cover. I'm painting a Team Rocket grunt inspired by the sprite scene in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I've always been a big fan of the Team Rocket grunts and Team Rocket in general. They've got really quirky personalities and it's always really entertaining when they, they're all like shocked when you beat them. Especially since they always use stuff like Zubat and coughing and it's like, well, are you that surprised? Anyway. I quite like the art style of the gold and silver sprites, um, the limited col color palette and like, you know, the fact that it's an 8-bit game and it has that retro game feel makes for a really interesting look when you try and imitate it in a drawing. I've seen people try and imitate it in digital media, but I've never seen anybody actually like paint or draw in this style, so that's part of the reason I decided to paint this picture today. I'm using Turner Acrylic Gouache for this painting. Um, it's a really high quality, bright, vibrant brand of gouache. I really like it and I recommend it to anybody interested in using this paint. Um, I like it a lot more than regular acrylic paints actually because they mix colors smoother and faster than anything I've ever used like before and after. Um, I'm planning to use it a lot more often in the future actually. Um, probably for a counterpart cover to this, like the back cover is still plain so I think I'll paint either a Zubat or Coughing to go with my Team Rocket Grunt in the future. Actually, if people are interested, I'd also be in happy to um, paint custom sketchbook covers like as commissions. I've seen people do commissions for like moleskin covers before, but yeah, like if, if somebody was interested, I'd be happy to paint any sketchbook cover with this paint. It's just really fun and I enjoy doing it. so. If you're interested, let me know and I'll set up some prices. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm putting the flat colors down over the sketch before I do the line art. With gouache, unless you have like the steadiest hand in the world, I find it way easier to do the lines as the final step of the painting. Um, you'll see later in the video that I do the lines with a sharpie. Um, that's because this brand of gouache jams up micron pens like Copic, Sakura, any of those brands, I've tried them all, like it jams them up and you know, it, they just don't work. So your only choices for line art are permanent marker or more gouache paint. And in my case, I'm much steadier with a marker than I am with a paintbrush. So I just choose to do the lines in Sharpie, but I could totally do them in gouache paint if I wanted to. While painting the background, I didn't mix enough dark red paint at the beginning and I lost that smooth mixed quality that I was praising earlier. Um, but I actually like how it turned out. It made the background have this like grungy effect and I think that's more interesting than if it was just the flat dark red color. It's kind of funny because I made a similar mistake in the Star vs. the Forces of Evil painting I did, but in this case, it ended up making the background better. So that's pretty good, I'd have to say. So now I'm just touching up final details and doing some lines around the white because I'm about to do a white outline around the entire character and I just want to make sure that I know where the gloves end and the outline begins. I'll touch up those lines again after because I do paint over them a little bit. But I'm just doing the white outline so he pops against the red background a little more. Uh, it kind of gives him like a sticker effect but I really like it. Like, I think the white looks really smooth and clean, and I enjoy how it all turned out. Anyway, that's probably all I have to say for this video, so I'm just gonna let you enjoy the last little bit, and I'll see you guys later.